Hello, bonjour and ahoy. I'm Roger Hilton. Fads fade, pop icons change, but one remains constant. The Globesec Bratislava Forum. It's my privilege to be reporting from the 18th edition of our flagship conference, the preeminent strategic conference in Central and Eastern Europe. Over the next three days, I'll be bringing you policy highlights and recaps from our list of international speakers and moderators. Join and follow us on social media, and let's get started. As is tradition, day one started off with our annual defense roundtable, co-hosted by the George C. Marshall European Center for Security Studies and the Slovak Ministry of Defense, with discussions focusing on a host of critical defense issues. The forum was officially opened with remarks by Globesec founder and president Robert Vosch, who declared that the future of the West is now being decided in Eastern and Central Europe. Slovak President Susanna Čaputova then delivered a keynote focused on the challenges the international community is facing, stressing unity among like-minded nations and the increased resilience of the West. The role of America's leadership was explored by former Secretary of Defense Mark Esper, who stressed to participants that despite America's growing isolationist tendencies, it is not ready to end its standing as the world leader. Foreign ministers from Austria, the Czech Republic, and Slovakia grappled with the spotlight of Europe's geopolitical moment and the ability of the continent to rise to the occasion. Olga Stefanischia, Deputy Prime Minister for European and Euro-Atlantic Integration, provided a sobering assessment of the conditions needed for Ukraine to achieve EU membership, with an assortment of high-level European voices acknowledging these difficulties but remaining hopeful. When it comes to the threat of populists, European Union Parliament President Roberta Metzola, Lithuanian Prime Minister Ingrida Simonetta, and former Slovak Prime Minister Edward Heger noted that the decision to turn a blind eye to populism with the belief that it would vanish was wrong, and has now instead evolved into a major threat. To end the day, defense ministers from Slovakia and Estonia, as well as voices from the expert community and the private sector, tackled a range of issues like how NATO can strengthen deterrence capabilities and profit from more intelligence sharing. That's all from day one of the 2023 Globsec Bratislava Forum. For more information, check out our website and join the conversation on our social media page. See you on day two.